So I'm Rob Darnell, I'm the Director of Intelligence and Security Alliance, but importantly I'm also one of the Crest exam writers and one of the Crest assessors. So what I want to talk to you about today is the CPTIA exam, which is the Crest Practitioner Threat Intelligence Analyst. So this exam is one of three different exams that we do, um, and it's kind of the first stage into your career progression. So it's that first exam, no previous experience, you know, not talking two years of experience here to, to get involved. It's this first run on the ladder to start showing your intent and your understanding around cyber threat intelligence. It's a great exam, it's quite broad, so the exam is 120 multiple choice questions. You only need to achieve a pass mark of 70%, which is 84 marks. Um, it's valid for three years, and it is a good stamp on your CV that shows I know and I can work with cyber threat intelligence. So it's a close book to our exam, and what it really does is it focuses on the key concepts of intelligence. So everything that you can think of in terms of the intelligence cycle from that initial direction all the way through to dissemination it is covered. So whether or not you're talking uh, about the direction and review stages, whether or not you're talking about collection, analysis, think of all of those basic things that you do on a day-to-day -day basis. What sort of methodologies do, do, do you use? Can you understand the difference between tactical, operational and strategic level? At each of those stages, what are the different elements? Have we got IOCs at tactical and if so, what kind of IOCs, what uh, kind of frameworks are there? How can they be able to be applied? Analysis, what sort of bias do you, do you need to think about? What different stages do you go through during the analysis phases? And what different types of dissemination is there in the market? Are you working with human uh, type intelligence, uh, human readable or machine readable? What formats do they uh, take in? But most importantly, can you do this safely? Do you know how to research in a secure, safe environment? Do you also understand the legal and ethical boundaries in which you operate? All of these different areas are covered off in the exam. And like I said, it's 150 multiple choice questions. So they're not in-depth analysis, but it just shows you understand all of the key concepts and have a broad enough knowledge to do your job properly.